Right. Question. Ten. This was great. There were marks just falling from the sky like rain mixed with pound coins. Which is great, isn't it? Um, as long as you've got a cycle hell now. Right. X plus X plus 8 over X, X plus 2 in partial fractions. So that would be A over X plus B over X plus 2. And I think, uh, bizarrely, they gave you a mark for writing that. Um, our next step, the thing that we always do next with this is we write X plus 8 equals A times X plus 2 plus B times X. Because we're multiplying through by X, X plus 2. It's a dead simple one to solve, isn't it? You're going to sub in a couple of values like x equals 0, which gives you 8, is 2a, so a must be 4, hurrah! x is minus 2, which gives you 6, is minus 2b, or not, 2b. Um, so b is minus 3, and that's it, that's all we need. So it, we've got 4 over x, minus 3 over x plus 2, 3 marks in the bag, just like that. Um, part two. Part two then said, by first using division, ooh, express 7x squared plus 16x plus 16 over x, x plus 2. What was it? 7x squared plus 16x plus 16 over x, x plus 2. Now already, as we, as we start on this, I hope you're thinking we're dividing by the same thing we just divided by. Those partial fractions are going to come into this somewhere along the line, aren't they? Aren't they? They are. So we're going to do x squared plus 2x into 7x squared plus 16x plus 16, whether you choose to do it with the bus stop or the grid or whatever method you do, um, you're going to do this. It's not going to, there's not going to be much going on here because we're dividing a quadratic by a quadratic. So what do you multiply x squared by to get 7x squared? The answer is 7. If you do that, you get 7x squared plus 14x plus 0. If you subtract your three terms, because remember, we need to think of the being a 0 there. If you subtract your terms, you get 0 plus 2x plus 16. There's our quotient. There's our remainder. So what we've ended up with is we've ended up saying 7x squared plus 16x plus 16 over x and x plus 2 is 7 plus 2x plus 16 over x, x plus 2. And now we're thinking, how does this relate to part 1? And it's very similar, isn't it? It's just, instead of x plus 8 on the top there, we've got twice x plus 8. We've got two lots of x plus 16. Two lots of x plus 8. So it's 7 plus twice. x plus 8, I may even have written that step. But look, that means we've got 7 plus twice our partial fractions answer. And it was an easy partial fraction, so we've got it right. It was 4 over x minus 3 over x plus 2. And if we multiply out the bracket, 7 plus 8 over x minus 6 over x plus 2. Good to see that there as an answer, because we're going to come back to that shortly. Part 3 of the question. Now, part 3, the question suddenly took a little bit of a step in a different direction and threw in some parametric equations for us. And I have them... Um, just go on to a new page because I need some more space for this. But this was x equals 2t over 1 minus t and y equals 3t plus 4 over t. Now this question is going to get kinder again. But this is the mean bit of this question. This is the bit where it, um, you know, we've, we've done this, haven't we? We've found Cartesian equation from parametric equations lots of times. 
This is about as tough as they've been, though. Well, I don't know, maybe they've been tough. But anyway, this is not an easy one. Because in order to solve it, we need to, uh, we need to get either t in terms of y or t in terms of x so we can sub it in. But with one eye on where we're getting towards, we're leading towards a question and answer that says y equals some big function of x. So it's pretty obvious that it's not a t in terms of y we're after, but we need to get a t in terms of x so we can sub that into this one and have a y equals. So we need to turn this into t equals. If we multiply through by 1 minus t, we get x times 1 minus t is 2t. We're trying to get t equals, so we've got to get all the terms separate to start with. x minus xt equals 2t. Now, I want to get t equals. I want to get all the things involving t on one side. So x is 2t plus x times t. Giving me x is t times 2 plus x. So t is x over 2 plus x. That's really important to get to that. I think they gave you two marks just for getting to that. So we sub that into the y equals equation. Therefore, y equals 3 times our new expression for t plus 4 over our new expression for t. That gives us y is 3x over 2 plus x plus, now hang on, this would, we're dividing by a fraction, so we multiply by its reciprocal, so that is 8 plus 4x over x. And we're seeing, are we seeing some of the similarities? What are we heading towards here? We're heading towards something over x times x plus 2. So we've got to put this over a common denominator, haven't we? So let's look for a common denominator. It would be 3x times 8 plus 4x. x, x plus 2. And the other one we need to multiply by 2 plus x. So that's where we're getting to. If we multiply out the top line, do we want it all multiplied out? It's not factorised at all, is it? So we're going to multiply out the top line. We're going to hope that that's going to give us what we're expecting. That is 24x plus 12x squared plus 16 plus 8x plus another 8x, so plus 16x plus 4x squared over x, x plus 2. Have I, have I ended up going wrong here somewhere on the line? Or is it all right? Oh, it's 3x times x. Why have I times it by the 8 plus 4x? No reason. Other than all the noise from the youths outside. So that gives me... That's better, isn't it? That's 3x squared in there. Sorry. Which gives me 7x squared. That's what I wanted. Plus 16x is 16. Yes. Over x. x plus 2. That's what was required. So we're sorted with that. Final bit. Part 4 said... Find the area of the region bounded by the curve, the x-axis and the lines, x equals 1 and x equals 2. So the curve is the curve there. So we're looking for the integral from 1 to 2 of 7x squared plus 16x plus 16 of x, x plus 2, dx. And now this is where it ties the whole thing together. Because in part 2, we wrote this as being, what was our answer to part 2? 7 plus 8 over x minus 6 over x plus 2. There was no tweaking of that. It was exactly the same as it. 
So we're ready to integrate that. 7x plus 8 ln x minus 6 ln x plus 2 between 1 and 2. And we're subbing our limits to get 14 plus 8 ln 2 minus 6 ln 4. Take away 7 plus 8 ln 1 minus 6 ln 3. Be really careful with your signs here because it would be such a shame to lose marks at the end by just messing up some of the, the pluses and minuses. We've got 14 takes 7 is 7. Um, 8 ln 2 minus 6 ln 4. Now 6 ln 4, that's 6 ln 2 squared, which is 12 ln 4. So we've got 8 ln, sorry, 12 ln 2. 8 ln 2 take away 12 ln 2 minus 4 ln 2 minus ln1, LN which is 0, minus minus 6 ln3, so plus 6 ln3. And I think that was the right answer, wasn't it? Yeah. There we go. And that's 2015 for 4 maths. Mm -hmm.